Why does the Alliance and the Horde still fight? Buongiorno! High five! And hope you're having an awesome day! So, today let's go quickly over the reasons why the Horde and the Alliance still fight and why they wage an endless war at each other. After the new canon chronicle books came out, things fell under a new perspective. Many of the dungeons and raids from vanilla World of Warcraft and upwards has been split between the factions, with very good lore reasons. In game, both factions can do all of them, of course, that's for gameplay reason. but in lore they have been split up, but some of them are also done by both of them, of course. But think about it, many of the Horde and Alliance citizens that lives today remembers the First and the Second War. The orcs slaughtered many humans and dwarves. Then in kind, when it all ended, the orcs were enslaved and treated like beasts in the human and dwarves internment camps. Then, after the Skurd decimated the Blood Elf, the Alliance treated them like a burden, and it all ended with the Elves getting a death sentence in Dalaran. They managed to flee, but that broke the Elves from the Alliance forever. And yet again, the Alliance hate the Forsaken, and they see no difference between them and the Scourge. Let's talk about the Drain Eye. The path through the tunnel. I'll rejoin you when I can. We have no weapons. The path is safe. The light will be with you. Now go. They were slaughtered by the hand of the orcs with no reason. And now they are here on Azeroth and they are orcs here as well. Of course they joined the alliance. But these are all opinions and thoughts. But try not to think about what you think. Try to think like you were one of the citizens of the Horde and the Alliance. Try to focus on it and try to think if you lost a brother, a sister or a mother or your father or your best friend was killed by someone. Could you forgive them? Could you forget it? Like, like 20 years after, 30 years after, could you kind of forget that horrible thing that happened? And this could have happened to entire families, like in Quel'Thalas at the High Elves, the Scourge decimated the population. Like the family of Sylvanas Windrunner, they lost around like 20 like siblings with cousins, aunts, uncles, they lost a lot of their families. And that just by the hand of the Scourge, it's not part of the faction, but just think about it. Think about losing that many relatives. Could you live with that? Could you forgive something so, so horrible? And then think about it. In, in the towns and in the cities, people talk. In the taverns, people talk. So this grows and grows and grows. And the thing about it, we have always seen the history and the lore opinion of the faction leaders. We haven't heard what the population thinks and what the people of the different faction thinks. 
So guys, what do you think? What do you think? Guys, open a discussion down in the comments. Say what you think. Why? And I say again, why do the Horde and the Alliance still fight? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have your own reasons? Do you not understand what the people think or what the people would, would have wanted? Or do you not comprehend how it is to lose a brother? Because that's horrible. I, I've lost a friend in a car accident and it was... It shocked me to the ground, like just losing him like that. He, he's just gone forever. That hurt me so much. <sighs> but the thing is, guys, think about it. Talk about it in the comments. I'm open for everything. Everything you say, I will answer it and we will talk about it. So, guys, I just want to ask you about this. This is a new format. I'm gonna do like these quick sessions of Warcraft Explained that will only be about small topics, and we're gonna go a small bit into them, and then it's gonna grow to something bigger, maybe to a time floor video. So, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support, and I'm so happy that you enjoy this video. This is the Warcraft Code. Arrivederci.